friends welcome to my channel Rinku Handcrafts. Today we are going to see how to make this cute crochet bag. For this bag I have used this daisy flower pattern for the granny squares and I have used this beautiful pattern on the border and we will just check the size of this bag first and now this is how you can check it. It is approximately 10 inches this side and then 10 inches this side and if you want to check the strap length it's it's around seven and a half or eight inches it's really easy and fun to make this crochet bag you just need to make these beautiful granny squares so shall we start now to start first we'll create one magic circle now for magic circle hold your yarn like this twist it around your fingers make a cross here then insert the hook through this cross then pull this yarn and make a loop here then pull the same yarn from behind and pull it through that loop and your magic circle is created now to start a round one we will make chain two first so one and two and then in this magic circle we will make our first double crochet stitch now for double crochet yarn over insert your hook in the circle pull the yarn you have three loops on the hook pull the yarn from first two loops and then pull the yarn from next two loops then after this we will chain one and now again in this circle we are going to make cluster of double crochet stitch so I will show you how to do that now for that yarn over insert your hook in the circle pull the yarn now you have three loops on the hook now pull the yarn from first two loops and then we are not doing the double crochet stitch fully we are just doing it halfway so this is our first half halfway double crochet stitch now again we will yarn over insert your hook in the circle pull the yarn here you have total four loops on the hook now pull the yarn from first two loops always pull the yarn from first two loops for this double crochet stitch halfway stitch now you have three loops on the hook so once you have three loops on the hook now pull the yarn through all three loops at once so this is called as double crochet stitch cluster and this stitch here we did chain two and one double crochet stitch this we are going to count as one cluster so now here we have total two clusters now after this chain one so always make chain one between two clusters for this round now again we are going to do our next cluster now for that yarn over insert your hook in the circle pull the yarn you have three loops on the hook now pull the yarn from first two loops now again we are going to repeat that yarn over insert your hook in the circle pull the yarn pull the yarn from first two loops and now here we have three loops on the hook and we have, we have these two double crochet stitches done halfway and now after this once you have three loops on the hook, pull the yarn through all three loops at once here now we have our third cluster now after this chain one and I am going to repeat this till I have total eight clusters so now I have one two and three clusters so I will make five more clusters like this and chain one in between so complete round one with eight clusters and meet me back at the end then I will show you how to join this round now here I have made my eight double crochet stitch clusters then to join this cluster to this first one I will make chain one and then I will just pull this end to close this magic circle like this and now to complete round one I am going to make slip stitch first on top of this chain two you can directly make slip stitch on top of this double crochet stitch that we did after this chain but I am going to make slip stitch here just to secure this last part so I am going to make slip stitch here first and then I am going to make one more slip stitch on top of this double crochet stitch in this next V loop so insert your hook below this V loop and make one more slip stitch there and for next round we are going to change our yarn so before that I will just chain one and cut this yarn and 
now here the center part of our granny square is ready now I'll take another yarn for round 2 so I'm taking this milky white yarn now to start a round 2 insert your hook in this loop the last loop that we did here here we completed our round and this little gap which you can see insert your hook in that gap so in round 2 we are going to work in the gaps that we created in round 1. Now pull the yarn like this. Hold this end little bit tight here. Then make one chain here like this. And now here we are going to do double crochet stitch clusters with 4 double crochets making it halfway now for that yarn over insert your hook in that gap pull the yarn you have three loops on the hook pull the yarn through first two loops then again yarn over insert your hook in the gap pull the yarn pull the yarn through first two loops now you have three loops on the hook now again yarn over insert your hook in the gap pull the yarn pull the yarn through first two loops now you have four loops on the hook now we are going to repeat this one more time till we have total five loops on the hook and now here we have total five loops on the hook now pull this yarn through all five loops at once like this and after this chain one and now here you can see we have this beautiful pattern i call this petal cluster here you can see how beautiful it looks and now after this now to jump to this next gap here we are going to make chain one here like this and now I am going to hold these two loose ends together and I am going to make my stitches by securing these two ends parallelly now after this again we are going to make this petal cluster here in this next gap now for that yarn over insert your hook in this next gap pull the yarn now pull the yarn from first two loops again yarn over then pull the yarn from first two loops and do this till you have total five loops on the hook so for that you have to do four double crochet stitches halfway Now here you can count this 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 double crochet stitches halfway so you have 4 loops and 1 loop from this side. Now once you have 5 loops then pull the yarn through all 5 loops at once. Now chain 1 to complete this petal cluster and now to jump to this next gap we are going to chain 1. And now like this repeat the same pattern of petal cluster in the gap and then chain 1 to join the petal clusters and at the end of uh, round 2 you should have 8 petal clusters like this and don't forget to complete this petal cluster by doing chain 1 on top like this so continue this round and make total 8 petal clusters and then I'll meet you back here at the end now here I have made my last petal cluster and I have chained one to complete the cluster now to join this to this first one I am going to make chain one and now here on top of this cluster here I am going to make slip stitch to complete our round two here like this then chain one and then pull this yarn and cut it and now here the second round or the second part of our granny square is done now I am going to change the yarn now for round 3 I am going to take this coral color yarn and now to start our round 3 again I am going to insert the hook 
in this last loop that we did here and then pull this yarn like this keep this end little bit longer so that we can secure it while doing our stitches or you can weave it also these all loose ends if you want you can weave it in the same color now after this chain one and now to start our round three I am going to make chain two here and then I am going to make one double crochet stitch in the same gap like this then chain one to jump to the next gap and now I am going to hold these two two loose ends here while doing my stitches now in this next gap I am going to make three single crochet stitches for single crochet insert your hook in this gap then pull the yarn you have two loops on the hook then pull the yarn through two loops like this then I am going to make one more single crochet stitch and then the last that is third single crochet stitch in the same gap now to jump to the next gap I am going to make chain one and now here I am going to do the cluster of double crochet stitch by making two double crochet stitches halfway so here yarn over insert your hook in this next gap pull the yarn you have three loops on the hook pull the yarn through first two loops then again yarn over insert your hook in the gap pull the yarn pull the yarn through first two loops when you have three loops on the hook then pull the yarn through all three loops at once then as this is going to be the corner stitch because we are going to make this circle in the shape of square for this round three for that we need the corners here now for corners i am going to make chain two here and then i am going to make the same cluster here in the same gap again so one more cluster with two double crochet stitches halfway like this now here you can see we have this our first corner ready now in this middle part here like this I am going to make chain 1 to jump to the next gap and now here in this next gap I am going to make 3 single crochet stitches so the pattern is really simple for middle part you are going to do chain 1 always in between the gaps and you are going to make 3 single crochet stitches and for corners here first we will make chain 1 and for corners we are going to make 1 cluster 2 chains and 1 cluster so here so as this is corner stitch I am going to make chain 2 and then 1 cluster in the same gap here like this now to jump to this ne next gap the middle part chain 1 so like this follow this pattern and complete round 3 and then don't cut the yarn because we are going to use the same yarn for round 4 so complete this round 3 and then at the end I'll show you how to join this round and how to do our last round for the granny square and now here I have done my last cluster in this last corner and now to join these clusters I am going to make chain 2 in the corner and now here on top of this double crochet stitch I am going to make a slip stitch to join our rounds like this and then now to jump to this next gap here I am going to make slip stitch in that gap so granny square is basically working in gaps so you must have seen that in all rounds we worked in the gaps and we made this beautiful pattern so now here we are going to start our round four now for that here i have made slip stitch and i have jumped to this next gap now to start round four make chain three here and before that i just want to show you how our project has taken the shape of square here you can see first we had circle with this petal stitches and now here you can see how we have this square pattern the square shape 
and now we are going to continue with our granny square now in the next in this in the same gap we are going to do two double crochet stitches normal double crochet stitches so like this and now here this chain 3 that we did this we are going to consider as one double crochet stitch so now in this gap we have total three double crochet stitches now to jump to this next gap we are not going to make any chains in this round we are directly going to jump and make our stitches here in this next gap now for that here i am going to make again three double crochet stitches as this is the middle part of the granny square here i am going to make three double crochet stitches now here to jump to this corner gap here i am going to make directly two double crochet stitches first then make two chains here at the corner and then two double crochet stitches in the same gap so only at corners we are going to make chain 2 in between the double crochet stitches here like this now to jump to this next gap we are directly going to do three double crochet stitches now to jump to this next gap again make three double crochet stitches and now here we have this corner loop now here we are going to make two double crochet stitches two chains and two double crochet stitches in the same gap so the pattern of this granny square is really easy and the granny square looks really beautiful once it's completely done you can see that now here now like this you can continue this round four this is the last round for the granny square and once you are here once you have done with all your stitches then i'll meet you back here at the end now here i have made my last corner stitch this corner pattern and now to join this uh, round or to complete this round i am going to make a slip stitch on top of this chain that we did so on third chain i am going to make a slip stitch now for this slip stitch i am going to take two loops on the hook from that chain both loops so that v loop that you see we are going to take that on the hook and then we are going to make our slip stitch now here like this take the v loop on the hook and make a slip stitch here to complete round four as we are going to join these granny squares we need these v loop to do both loops to join the granny squares so here like this make a slip stitch and they complete this round then after this chain one to secure it and now we are going to cut the yarn and now here you can see my beautiful daisy flower granny square is ready and you can see how this pattern looks it's really beautiful right now for the purse or the bag i'm making i'm going to make total 13 of these so make 13 granny squares such granny squares and then meet me back and then i'll show you how to join those granny squares and make a beautiful purse or bag out of that now here you can see i have made my 13 granny squares and i have joined some of them here you can see and now i'll show you how to join the rest of them or how you can start joining uh, your granny squares now for that we need to follow uh, one pattern so here if you can see these little squares these are one granny squares and we are going to join it in the shape like this so if you want you can pause the video and uh, you can save this image and here 
the dark lines shows the joining of the granny squares to each other so where these lines are here we are going to join our granny squares now i started from this side this this side this is this is going to be the back side and this will be the front side uh, you can use this bag in either way that's not an issue and now here you can see i'll just put this aside and now here you can see these two granny squares and this one here we have the joining and then these two granny squares here and then this one here and here where you can see the arrows these granny squares these corner granny squares we are going to twist that only where you see arrows only those granny squares we are going to twist so here like this it will be twisted like this after joining from this side now i'll show you how to join these granny squares or which pattern we are using to join the granny squares now here i have these two granny squares and i'll show you how you can start joining your granny squares now for this i am going to use zipper stitch or it's also called as flat slip stitch now for that take the yarn and make a slip stitch to the hook now for slip stitch hold your yarn like this twist it around your finger and then make a loop here then insert your hook in the loop and then pull this to make it tight and now we are going to take these granny squares like this so this is the right side of the granny squares and this is the back side of the granny square so we are going to take these granny squares like this and if you count there are total 12 loops on each side of the granny squares so we are going to join our granny squares in those 12 loops from this side now for that first take one loop from this side so this is the first loop from that 12 loops so here you can see the corner stitch here is the double crochet stitch and beside that here is one loop so insert your hook in that loop like this in that v loop and then take the similar loop from this side so this is that loop the first loop now insert your hook in that loop now here you have two loops on the hook and this is the yarn or this is the slip stitch of the yarn and then we are going to do our slip stitch here now for slip stitch take this yarn below the granny squares hold it like this make it little bit tight then pull the yarn first from this loop and then pull the yarn from these two loops to make a slip stitch like this now pull it to make it tight now again here we have this next loop and we have this next loop from this side here now insert your hook in this loop in this v loop next loop keep this yarn below granny squares and now insert your hook in this loop from above like this then pull the yarn from this loop and then pull the yarn from these two loops to make a slip stitch and then pull this yarn to make the stitch tight now again insert your hook from this side then again from this side then pull the yarn and pull the yarn through all three loops to make a slip stitch and now like this you can continue and you can use this pattern to join your granny squares for this bag this pattern looks really seamless and it it gives nice look to the final look of our bag so like this i'll continue and i'll make this one row of joining the granny squares and then i'll show you how how it looks at the end and now here you can see how this joining looks it's really seamless 
and it looks like zipper that's why it's called zipper stitch or flat slip stitch here you can see and now once you are done with two granny squares if you want to know how to join the granny squares on the side I'll just show you so now if you want to join your granny square here then you can just continue with the same you don't have to cut the yarn so always insert your hook in this right granny square first in that loop first loop here and then hold this yarn below granny squares always because of our hand movement it could come above the granny squares then you won't be able to make this zipper st stitch so just remember that and then we are going to insert our hook the similar in the similar loop from this granny square here in this V loop we are going to insert that then pull the yarn pull the yarn through this loop first and then pull the yarn through these two loops like this here and now you can continue with this granny square so like this you can uh, join your granny squares and uh, I have these loose ends with me I haven't secured it so I'm going to secure it while doing my joining of the granny square if you want you can secure it first and then join the granny squares but I find it more easy and quick so joining these or securing these loose ends while doing the uh, while doing this joining so now I'll join my uh, all the granny squares and make my bag and then once I'm done with the joining then I'll show you how this bag looks. Now here you can see my cute crochet bag is ready and here I have attached all my granny squares and as I told you here is the granny square on the side and this is how it gets folded when you attach it on the side like this. I have also secured all my loose ends inside here and uh, while joining the granny squares just remember one thing try to join these granny squares in one go like don't cut the yarn in between many times cover as much joints as possible while doing this purse I have joined mostly all granny squares only two sides of the granny squares were remaining which I attach separately so you can do that just remember that and now we are going to make the strap or handle for this purse and now I'll show you how we can do that now to start our rounds for the strap you can start anywhere from this loop here now I'm going to start from this loop here you can see so insert your hook in the loop and pull this yarn and make a slip stitch here And now to start round one make chain one here like this and then make one single crochet stitch in the same loop then one single crochet stitch in this next loop and like this we are going to do one single crochet stitch each in each of these loops for a round one and while doing my round I am also securing this loose end if you want you can weave it in the end and just remember while doing single crochet stitch single crochet stitch has tendency to tighten your work so while doing single crochet stitch just remember that make the single crochet stitch a little bit loose don't make it too tight otherwise the bag might lose its shape 
so make one single crochet stitch and then here we have this gap and here we have these three granny squares so and we have this weird gap here so we don't want that gap so we are going to join these granny squares together now for that we are going to do cluster of single crochet stitch now i'll show you how to do that now here insert your hook in that loop pull the yarn keep this loop on the hook then insert your hook in this v loop here like this then pull the yarn keep that loop on the hook then again insert your hook in this gap here from the third granny square and then keep that loop on the hook and when you have four loops on the hook then pull the yarn through all four loops at once like this so here you can see now we don't have that weird gap here and now again in each of these loops these v loops we are going to do one single crochet stitch each till i reach here and then i'll show you what to do next and now we are we are here at this gap now in this gap i'm going to make one single crochet stitch and now we are going to do the strap for our bag now for that i'm going to make 60 chains here you can do any number of chains as you want depending on the length of the strap or the handle you want to make so i'm going to make 60 chains just keep these chains little bit loose like i am doing so complete 60 chains and then meet me back at the end and then i'll show you what to do next now here my 60 chains are done and now i'm going to join these 60 chains to this right granny square here with single crochet stitch So insert your hook in this gap here and make one single crochet stitch here like this and then in this remaining two loops we are going to do one single crochet stitch each to complete our round one and then join this round one or complete this round one with slip stitch on top of this single crochet stitch first single crochet stitch that we did make a slip stitch here now to start round two again chain one and then on top of this each single crochet stitch these v loops we are going to make one single crochet stitch each again for round two now when you reach here at middle three stitches here this one and this big one where we did single crochet cluster and then the next to that then we are again going to do single crochet cluster here now for that insert your hook in this loop pull the yarn and insert your hook in this big loop pull the yarn insert your hook in this next loop and pull the yarn you have four loops on the hook then pull the yarn from all four loops at once like this and then again make one single crochet stitch each in each of these loops and now here we have this chain pattern so now in this each chain we are going to make one single crochet stitch each like this insert your hook in that v loop and make one single crochet stitch each till you reach here at this right granny square and now here i have made my 60 single crochet stitches on 60 chains here like this and now in this next loop i'll make one single crochet stitch and then i'll make remaining single crochet stitches to complete round two and now to join the round we are going to make slip stitch on top of the single crochet stitch and now like this we are going to do round three as well in similar way and just remember in this middle three stitches we are going to do single crochet stitch decrease here in these between two granny squares so one two and three now follow the same pattern and complete round three and then meet me back at the end now here i have completed my round three and i have cut this yarn here and here you can see the shoulder strap 
on one side is ready and now we are going to do the same on this side here so let's complete that shoulder strap first and then I'll show you what we can do here on these both sides and now here I have done with both of my shoulder straps here for the back here you can see and now we will work on the side border now for that again you can take any loop here so I'll take this loop insert your hook and then pull this yarn make a slip stitch here like this and then in the same loop we are going to do one single crochet stitch like we did before for this inner border and we are going to do one single crochet stitch in each of this loop and now here at the corner gap we are going to do one single crochet stitch now to jump to this strap here in this loop we are going to do one single crochet stitch and then here we have these loops from the chain we did first while doing the strap these V loops half part of the V loop in that we are going to do one single crochet stitch around the strap so like this insert your hook in that loop pull the yarn and then make one single crochet stitch so like this complete one single crochet stitch around around this strap and once you reach here at this joint of three granny squares then I'll show you what to do next and now here I am at this joint of three granny squares now in this gap I am going to insert my hook and then pull the yarn we are going to do the same single crochet stitch decrease here like we did here now insert your hook pull the yarn keep that loop on the hook then again insert your hook in this V loop here here you can see in that V loop insert your hook and then pull the yarn keep that loop on the hook then again insert your hook in this gap here then pull the yarn and keep that loop on the hook now you have four loops on the hook now pull the yarn through all four loops at once so basically we are decreasing our stitches here because we need to join these three granny squares together now after this in this next top of this double crochet stitch we are going to do one single crochet like we are doing before in this round and now in this each of these loops we are going to do one single crochet stitch and like this follow this pattern and complete this round one with one single crochet stitch each and when you have this three granny square joint then do the single crochet stitch decrease and when you complete round one then in similar way we are going to do one more round round two and that will be the last round for this bag so complete total two rounds and then meet me back at the end and now here you can see my cute crochet bag is ready and you can check the pattern here it's looking beautiful right and here is the border pattern here you can see and in my coming video I am going to add a lining to this crochet bag so it will be more firm or sturdy so I hope you like my video if you like it then please give a big thumbs up please share my channel with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe it thank you so much for watching the video see you soon in the next one